Hey guys! We are, well I was trying to get Bowen, but he moved. There's Bowie! Hello! Daddy! <laughs> he always thinks Daddy's on here. I don't know why. We already called Daddy this morning, baby. You remember? So we have to go to Target again because I forgot to get Easton's friend's birthday present and his birthday is Saturday and I also have to, is there a smudge? What's going on? I know you want to hold it. Hold on one second. And I also had to return the black jacket that I got for Easton. I knew it was going to be too small. This one with the gray. You want to get dressed? <laughs> Yeah. Get dressed. Come here, my dove. Let me see. What's on here? Look. What's on here? Come here to mama. Come here. Can I get hugs? Oh, can I get a kiss? He's trying to get this. Oh. Oh. Golly. Mama. Hey, you come here with that. <laughs> I've got y'all on this little tripod thing. This is genius. I don't have to hold it. All right, we're looking for, I need some expo markers and we gotta get Bryce's gift and I also was gonna get some leggings. All right, let's see. Oh, here's some expos. That's for your tracing book that you like to do. Oh, this is cute. On clearance. Look at this one. It's so cute. For the kids. It's so cute. Guys, I'm gonna leave here with so much stuff. I'm gonna finish my chocolate croissant before Bowen tries to eat it. Because when he finishes his scone, it's game over for me and my chocolate croissant. <laughs> you like? You don't like it? Baby Yoda, baby Yoda, baby Yoda. Okay. Oh, this weather, it's so like gloomy and rainy out. There's nowhere for me to hook this up unless I could do this the steering wheel. We're gonna jam out to wheels on the bus. I see you. I see you. All right, let me show you what I got really quick. So, we have, we got this for his friend's birthday. Um, hopefully he likes that. His mom said he was into Legos, so. And then I got some faux Sphinx leggings. They were $18 instead of uh, $98. <laughs> and then just some regular leggings, which I love the airy ones, but I really needed some like ASAP. And these are seven dollars. I think the airy ones are like fourteen, so they're not bad. But and they're thicker than this. So I'll probably still go to Airy and get some more. And then I got Expo markers for Easton, um, just for the whiteboard and for his uh, tracing notebook that we got him. Uh, and he loves to do that, so I needed some more. Boys are eating lunch. This is so yummy. This is so yummy. Give me those dirty socks. Give me those. I don't even want to show myself because I look like a hot mess express. But the boys are gonna eat lunch and then we have to go to Bowen's um, ear appointment because he just keeps having issues with his right ear. He had an ear infection probably like a month ago and then uh, it cleared up, but he like kept messing with his ear like when I would push him in his little Car and it you know vibrates um, Anything that he was in that would vibrate he would like start messing with his ear and it was really just the right ear and so we went in and he <laughs> So we went in and he said that it looks like He might have like eczema in his ear because he like itches it a lot and stuff 
but my main concern was like to make sure there wasn't any fluid in there but he can't really see the eardrum well so he told us for two weeks to put him on um like these drops for his ear so he's been doing that for two weeks and now we're gonna go and hopefully he can like see it better but the thing with his ears is that his earwax is like so weird i have never seen such so every time we go in this has been he's been like this oh my goodness this gave me the heart attack uh he's been like this since he was six months old he just has like cottage cheese looking earwax constantly and it's so much of it and they have to like go in there with a water pick half the time to get it all out it's very interesting i have never seen such i know like kids can sometimes have an excess of earwax okay fine normal but his is like cottage cheese looking it's white and clumpy so gross you did wow you made you ate all your noodles good did you eat your applesauce okay we need to go eat our applesauce okay but anyway so we're gonna go in and hopefully everything looks okay and hopefully he like doesn't have another ear infection. But the only time they had available for his ear appointment was that the only time they had was 115, which is like right in the middle of his nap. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, I will let y'all know how that goes. Maybe I'll try and get some footage in the doctor, but we'll see. Are you ready for your doctor's appointment? Are you gonna be such a good boy for the doctor? Like you were last time? Yeah? What's with that look? <laughs> that was a shiz show. Bowen did not do as well. And they used like the suction thing this time, which he did not like. So, but they think that it's a yeast infection in that ear, which is so odd, but it explains the, um, the cottage cheese like discharge earwax so we're gonna start on a like fungal eardrop which he said sometimes like stings and to let him know if he's like screaming bloody murder when we put it in because he can uh try the other one he said there's not a lot of options for fungal ear infection like antibiotics or anything um so I really hope this doesn't bother him that bad because we only have to do it for a week and then his appointment is next Thursday. So I'm really hoping that it clears up the poor thing. I mean, I just feel so bad for him. All right guys. So while I'm up here, I remembered that I wanted to show you all of the books that I've read. Oh, and I have all the ratings on my app on my phone, which where's my phone? Let me go get it. Uh-oh, the battery's going dead. Hurry, let's go. Okay, so listen. Uh-oh, hurry. I got to do it quick, so don't interrupt. Okay. Nicholas Sparks, The Return. I gave it a three out of five. The Guest List, five out of five. The Silent Patient. What did I give this one? Five out of five, or four out of five. Every Breath, Nicholas Sparks, three out of five. Uh, little Fires Everywhere. Ah, uh, don't die on me. Five out of five. Then she was gone. Five out of five. The couple next door. I remember them, but I just want to tell y'all like what I rated them right after I was done reading it. Um, five out of five. Okay, I didn't make it. The camera died, but it charged, and I really need to find the other batteries because that's annoying. Um, I was the last one that I left off on was a good girl's guide to murder, and I believe I rated this a five out of five. And then um, the Tattooist of Auschwitz, which is like a classic, very good. Whoa! And I think I rated that a five out of five also. But all the books are good. The Nicholas Sparks books are a little, they just haven't been doing it for me. Um, also, the book that I read that's not in this um, stack is Where the Crawdads Sing. Amazing, five out of five. This app is called bookly and you can just like if anyone cares you can add books by like this little plus sign up here and you put the book title in and you can search it online and the book image will pop up and then that can go there and then you do the book title the book Arthur. i 
cannot believe that I just pronounced author Arthur. I had to get on here and say something. It's author. <laughs> and um, if you read it in the past or if it's in progress and you just save the book and then every time you go to read it, unless you already read it, like you can just save the book. Um, but when you go to read it, you just get on here and press start and it'll like time you and stuff, which I don't really care about that. Sometimes I'll just go in and put in the books when I'm done reading them because I don't really remember to do this every single time. But which book did I read in one day? It was The Couple Next Door. That one kept me on the edge of my seat. I read that in one day. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I read a book in one day, but to give myself not as much credit, it's very small. And I had a lot of time to myself that day because Michael was here. So I was able to actually read it. But yeah, all those books are really good. Um, like I said, except the Nicholas Sparks books. They're kind of just like, you know what's gonna happen. Just not loving them. So that's when I got on Book Talk and was like researching all these books. And I have literally five pages on Amazon of just books <laughs> that I wanna read. So the ones that I showed you in the vlog last night or the night before are the ones that are next on my list. And I'm really excited to read them, but Michael's calling me. Hello. Did you find anything? No. Seriously? I destroyed that. I swear, like I told you last time, that thing has to be at the house. I've ripped everything out. Maybe we brought them here. That, that can't make sense because we put some in storage because we were like, there's no point in bringing them because Bowen's they only... Be, they might be in the attic. They might be hidden in a closet somewhere. I don't know, but I just tore that thing apart. And I... I'm so tired. Yeah, because like, I don't know. That sucks. I'm sorry. Say goodnight. Goodnight. Oh, that's not Bowen. That's a camera. Yeah. <laughs> Look who surprised us and came home early. That was a good one. Sorry, I had to lie to you all <laughs> Give hugs and kisses again. Aww. <laughs> I missed the actual moment. Because obviously I didn't think he was going to be here, but Easton ran out and Bowen ran out and they ran up and gave him a hug. It was so cute. Now he's not going to go to sleep. I know. I said, well, I guess I'm not putting him to sleep. Oh. Yeah, he puts him to sleep. You want daddy go night night? You want me to put you night night? Go show him your room. Oh, wow. Let me take my boots off. Where's your room? My dad. My dad. No. Where's your room? <laughs> Didn't I text you earlier and I was like, I wish you would surprise me one day? And then he came home early. Daddy had to lie to mommy all day. What time did you leave? Um, you remember when he called and you were getting annoyed with my blinker? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> what book do you want to read? Do you want to read a book? <laughs> Which one do you want to read? Just one. We don't need all of them. Just pick one. Night night love bug. <laughs> no, say night night to the camera. Oh, so night, night camera. <laughs> Mommy's not leaving. Mommy get you. You're just gonna read books. Yeah.